Howdy! In this video, we're going to discuss the alternating series test, as well as um, if it converges, to determine if it's absolutely or conditionally convergent. So pause the video, jot this down, we'll talk about it, and run through an example. Okay, so alternating series test is actually one of the easiest tests. And you know to use the alternating series test when your series is, well, alternating. Okay, and what you're going to do in alternating series, you're going to have some negative 1 to the n times some a n. All you need to do is take the limit as n goes to infinity of your a n. If it goes to 0, it converges. If it doesn't equal 0, it diverges. Period. That's it. Now, if it converges, a follow-up question is going to be, is it absolutely or conditionally convergent? If it is, uh, what you're going to do is take away the negative 1 to the n. And so you'll be left with just a n, and that is a brand new series. You'll need to apply either the limit comparison test, direct comparison test, integral test, one of the other tests to determine if this new series converges or diverges. If this new series diverges, then we say we're conditionally convergent. But if this new series, even after taking away the negative one to the n, if that converges, then we are absolutely convergent. So let's run through an example. Taking a look at this one, I have the sum of negative 1 to the n, square root of n over n squared plus 1. All you need to do is take the limit as n goes to infinity of the square root of n over n squared plus 1, which I see this is bottom heavy. Bottom heavy, this is 0. And because the limit was 0, therefore we say it converges, converges by the alternating series test. And since it converges, the follow-up question is going to be, okay, is it absolutely or conditionally convergent? Well, what you're going to do is take away this negative 1 to the n. You're going to take away this negative 1 to the n, and you will have a brand new series, square root of n over n squared plus 1. I see that I have basically all polynomials, or n raised to the numbers, and so what I'm going to do is this is an instant limit comparison test. Now what did I say for limit comparison test? You need to choose your bn wisely. And I'm going to choose, well let's see, I'm going to take the highest power on top, square root of n, divided by highest power on bottom, that's n squared, which is going to be 1 over n to the 3 halves when you simplify. And so now that I have that, for limit comparison test, and by the way, this will converge, this will converge by p-series. And so that was step one. Step two is to take the limit. The limit as n goes to infinity of your a n, square root of n over n squared plus one, times that b n flipped, b n flip that's n to the 3 halves over 1, which when I multiply that through, that'll be n squared over n squared plus 1, which when I take the limit as n goes to infinity of that same power on top and bottom, that's 1, the coefficients. And 1 does not equal 0 or infinity. Therefore, this series will converge by the limit comparison test, and so because your series without the negative 1 to the n still converges, what we say is that this, this overall alternating series is absolutely convergent. So recapping real quickly, first take the limit of your a n goes to zero, converges, doesn't equal zero, diverges, period. But if it converges, and they ask, is it absolutely or conditionally convergent, take away the negative one to the end. And you'll have a brand new series, and you'll need to apply some tests, some of the tests that we learned in the previous videos. And if that new series diverges, you're conditionally convergent. And if that new series converges, then you're absolutely convergent. 